I got my funky glasses on because Arthur bent the other ones. Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Pretty Good Cooking. Pretty good. Today on the show, I'm gonna make smothered turkey wings. Never made turkey wings just on their own before, but I imagine it will be good. I have some completely enormous turkey wings from the farm. There they are. And you can see in my pack, there are two enormous wings. So we're gonna slow cook them, break down all the, uh, all the cartilage-y bits in them, and uh, we're, they're gonna be smothered, so we're gonna have gravy on them. It's kind of like a soul food day here in the house. I made a pot of greens, my greens. They're not hot right now because I, so I thought they were done. We're probably, we're probably gonna make some other stuff too. So let's begin. All right, so we're gonna start. We're gonna preheat the oven. I think we're gonna do 375. And then we're gonna brown our turkey. Uh, I'm gonna get some veggie oil in there. And then we'll go check out the turkey wings. If you're wondering what I did with my finger, I accidentally hit it with a hammer, you know, like, a, like a cartoon. But it was in real life, so it hurt. Golly. That's the flat and the drum. Completely enormous. What they be feeding these turkeys? Yeah, look at the meat on that flat. It's like it's like got like little tenders or something. It's crazy. Okay, so we're gonna let our wings dry best we can, and we're gonna season them up. The drying will help the, uh, the seasoning stick a little bit better. Garlic, cayenne, onion powder, poultry seasoning. All right, we're gonna start with. Flipping the bird. Now remember, when you're working with a very large piece of meat, or pieces as is the case here, you need to do, you need to like really season it. I've got some Cajun seasoning. I'm gonna work this in. I just use the rest. Garlic powder. Cause like when we're, um, when we add the seasoning, it's gonna be on the surface. But you know, with your, with a bite in the, anytime you take a bite of the meat, you want some of that flavor to get through. Onion powder, cayenne to taste, a little bit. Some bouillon, chicken bouillon, a little nor, and some black pepper. I'm using a soulful amount of seasoning. Really incorporated in there, you can see it, like it looks like a lot of seasoning at first, but when you start wiggling it around, when you start distributing it, it's actually not an insane amount of seasoning. It smells really good. All right, so now we're gonna use movie magic to pretend like we're gonna let that rest for a few minutes. So here's us letting the turkey rest for a few minutes. All right, our turkey's been resting for a few minutes, so let's go ahead and start browning it. I got the oil in the pan over here, and I'm not totally convinced everything will fit in here, but maybe, 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 yeah. We're really just doing this for color. So while that's browning, we can do a little bit of cleanup, and then I'll start working on the other parts that are gonna go into this. We'll be right back. All right, it's getting a little smoky in here, but this is why we brown, look at how Look how nice that looks already. So you can keep an eye on it. Here's a, another example. We got a little bit of scorching, but no problem. Just gonna brown it for flavor. All right, I got an onion. I got half of a red bell pepper. I use the other half in the greens. I'm just gonna dice both of these up. I'm hoping from the time that I'm done with this, turkey should be pretty brown and we can just continue on. Yeah, I think that we're in good shape. Already looks pretty impressive, I think. Okie doke. Set that aside for now, and we'll just pop our veg right in that pan. And if you feel like you're not, there's not enough um, grease or whatever, you can add a little bit more. We're just gonna soften our veggies in that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook these veggies a bit. We're gonna make a roux, I think. I think we'll make a roux. Kind of like cook the roux a bit, and then we're gonna turn that into a gravy, and we're gonna let the whole thing simmer in a gravy for quite some time. I think I wanna cook these veggies down just a bit and then braise it in the stock and then we'll turn the liquid into a gravy. We'll be back in a couple minutes when this one is good to go. Okay, so I'm kind of deciding to go in a little bit different direction. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my veggies, throw them on the bottom here, and we're gonna work work this around a little bit. I'm gonna try to get the wings relatively on top. And I'm just gonna roast these as is. I might add just a little bit of liquid, but there's gonna be so much liquid that comes out of this, I just think that'll be better ultimately for the gravy. And then we can uh, cook it a little bit longer in it. So I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of salt. There's quite a bit of salt in the Cajun seasoning. I'm just gonna put some water in this bouillon container that's empty. Instant chicken broth, just a little bit. I saw some versions too that, that, where they would um, put a pat of butter on each wing. I don't think we need to do that. I think we got plenty of fat going on. So let's go ahead and get this covered up. Yeah, I think that'll that give us most of the way. We're gonna throw this in the oven. We're gonna cook that for like an hour and a half, at least. 
And since there's foil in it, we shouldn't really have to worry about turning the turkey around, but we might do that a little bit later. So, what time is it now? 3.45, so we'll check it. 5.15, maybe around 5. We'll be back. All right, it's been about 90 minutes. Let's see what's going on down here. Smells good. First comment is that it looks like we're probably gonna need to cook these for <laughs> quite some time longer, which is interesting. They don't really feel like they've become tender or broken down much. And that's even crazier to me because they are actually at a very, pretty high temperature. A lot of meats start usually breaking down when they reach 200 degrees. Yeah, like the fact that I can't really pull a piece off that dries. Oh, it's like way more tender than I thought. Okay, uh, it actually tastes great. It's like really poultry tasting. I don't know how else to explain that. Uh, okay, so what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm going to temporarily transfer these guys to a plate. We are gonna keep cooking them. My initial thought is that these may need to cook quite a bit longer, which I hope is not the case, but it might be what we need to do. All right, we have quite a bit of drippings. Like we did have chicken stock as well. Quite a bit of drippings in the pan. I'm just gonna take this whole thing, carefully pour it into a measuring cup. And in the meantime, I'm actually just gonna throw these right back in and let them keep roasting. Cause we're gonna make the gravy to smother these in and then we're gonna let it keep cooking in that gravy, which I think will be great. I'm not really worried about the turkey drying out or anything because we're gonna make the gravy pretty fast and then we'll throw it all back together. All right. I'm just gonna start with just a little bit of butter, maybe like a tablespoon, because I think we're gonna have enough fat in this. Just based on how it looks, you can see how it's separating already. Like that's all fat. <laughs> so we're gonna gravify it. Grab some flour. I'm gonna see if I can pour some of the fat in as well to get us started. And then we'll start adding flour. And if you wanna like uh, toast the roux, for example, you certainly can. I don't have a nonstick whisk, I uh, just am remembering. So there might be a couple of lumps in today's gravy because I don't wanna I don't want to ruin my nonstick pan, but the method I showed you in the mac and cheese video of using the backside of like the flexible spoon typically works pretty well for me in getting those lumps out. And if there's a few lumps, well, it's home style. And this is as thick as this is gonna get at this stage, which is kind of like the toasting stage. And because we used roasting juices in this, It'd actually be harder to tell how toasted it is. I think that actually might be good enough for me. So what we'll do is we'll add in a little bit of the rest of the drippings. And we'll keep thinning it out. And then we may add a little bit of stock near the end. Finish the gravy. I'm just gonna go ahead and add the rest. You can see I'm working that roux in a little bit at a time. And I can tell you right now that it's probably gonna need some stock. This is looking pretty thick, but if you kind of like look at where we're at now, I mean, look at this this pile of very, 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 very thick gravy. If you slow cook a meat and then put this on top of it, it's gonna taste good, no doubt in my mind. And actually, I don't even think I really need stock since we used all those drippings. I might just add water. Which, uh, if someone wants to at me on that one, that's fine. I'll accept the criticism, but that's that's gonna taste good. Same deal once again. You know, we'll just add a little bit of liquid and we'll work on incorporating it together until we get the texture that we're looking for. It, it looks good. I'm happy with the direction. Look at that gravy. I, I think this is this is about where I want it. I'll thin it out at the end if I need to. And of course, we want to taste as we go. Oh man, it's so, it's so turkey flavored. Oh, that's so good. The Cajun uh, spice and that little bit of cayenne gives it just a slight kick in just a really, really nice way. I'm gonna give this just a little bit more liquid and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna smother those turkey wings. All right, so I'm happy with that. Turn the heat off. Let's smother. Woo, steamy. And here's how we do it, how we smother it. You just put it right over the top, like so. We're gonna cozy the wings into the gravy as well. So that means letting some of the sauce get below it, kind of like tucking them in, moving them around. And we're gonna let this cook uncovered for a while longer until we're happy with the results. The meat is fully cooked at this point, so we could eat it. I think it would be nice to let this break down longer. We probably will not let this go as long as we could, mainly because I'm hungry and wanna eat dinner pretty soon. But you can let this go, you know, multiple hours longer if you wanted to. So there it is, and there it goes. And we'll check on that about half an hour. Be back soon, I'll show you what it looks like. All right, it's been about 30 minutes, and my feeling is that we probably could have cooked this even more than we did. But let me show you what's going on here. Here's our smothered 
Toiki. We'll show you the, you know, the gravy. We did get a little bit of sticking, but it's not really too bad. But wow, that meat looks awesome. I'm curious what our, our meat will temp check at. I, in an ideal world, would have wanted to cook these significantly longer, let them really break down. But let me show you, let me show you what we're working with here. Here's a little bit of the meat, give it a taste. It's gonna be hot. Holy moly, it's good. Interesting. Where it's cooked right now, it actually reminds me a bit of like a roast turkey that you might have on Thanksgiving, where it has a pretty moist texture, but it's not like falling off the bone uh, akin to like a slow cooked pork or something. It's actually so good. And there's this wonderful spice, like a like a hint in the back, a little bit of like, a, like an aftertaste of that that spice that we had. It's phenomenal. It's only gonna be better with gravy. Mm. All right, we're, we're uh, finishing up here. We're gonna plate our food. I think I'm gonna go for a, a flat, flat turkey wing. And you can see there's, there's a little bit of separation in my gravy, and that's like from additional juices of the turkey that kind of like came off. So you can like pour the gravy off and remix it, but definitely you want some sauce. And remember, you probably would have this over rice with your dinner. We're gonna have our smoked Gouda Cavan Mac, Cavan cheese, whatever this is. And I have some kale greens that I cooked all day. No video on those, but they are fabulous. And if you want them in the juice, you could like have a little cup for your juice. We need even more vegetables, so I got some coleslaw. It's a simple coleslaw. That's our plate tonight. I think it's gonna be mighty fine. Mighty fine indeed. All right, so here's here's me trying the turkey, which is really all you need me to see. And it is fabulous. It, it's it's like it's what you expect, you know. It's like a really deep poultry flavor. The gravy is fantastic. There's a little bit of spice. I don't really have much more to say other than this will go great over rice. Thrilled to eat this, and I gotta feed Courtney, or she's gonna be hangry. So we gotta get out of here. Uh, God bless you and your family, that's how you do it. If you like what we're doing, there's no further actions required at this time. I'll see you next time on PGC, and here's my dog.